This is part two of the virtual ligand screening demo. So we've already set up the, the, the docking uh, project and now we're just looking at the docking preferences. So if we go to docking preferences general, you can have a, a variety of options such as sample race mix centers um, and also uh, ring sampling level and uh, wh whether you want uh, primary, secondary or uh, tertiary uh, amine groups to be charged or ICM to uh, predict whether they're going to be charged or not using auto. Other preferences and uh, docking preferences are for the database scan. In this example it's quite important. So if you're sc screening millions of compounds um, ICM will only save the confirmations of, in this example, of compounds that score minus 32 or lower. So that's generally a good cutoff, but it's sometimes best to just check uh, what a good binder to your uh, receptor, what kind of score it will get, and then maybe adjust this to maybe something like minus 10 to make sure you get all the, the hits. There's also s a variety of um, sort of filters such as ligand size, ma minimum and maximum, and the uh, the Pinsky rules of five as well, which you can you can change. So you don't screen every single compound in your database. Uh, you can you can filter it out. Um, but in this example, it's okay. We we can leave the default values. So now we have we set up the batch ligand already, and then the option is to run docking batch. If you click on that, uh, it asks for the project name. The output file uh, suffix will be answers, that's fine. Um, the docking thoroughness is, is 1. If you want to increase the length of simulation, you can increase this to maybe 5 or 10. Uh, but if you're screening many millions of compounds, you want to keep this at a reasonable value for speed. Um, we can store alternative confirmations. You can also score them, but that would take longer to do that. And press OK. And then you can see at the top here that one background job is running. So it's screening all the compounds in that docking in the Celebrex um, SDF file that ha contains 50 compounds. You can monitor the job more closely by going Windows uh, background jobs. And you see it's been running for eight, 19 seconds. And during the doc this virtual screening process, you can monitor the results by going docking and make hit list. And then you enter the project name. Um, the, the docking object file is correct. It's answers underscore one. You can browse to find that. And you can import the 2D sketch of the ligand from the database. And if you're, if you're docking multiple runs, you can also select the best score for each one. So you go OK. And you can see so far, in just one minute, we've already docked seven ligands and you can even uh, even while docking is still going on the screening is still progressing 18 percent completed um, we can we can view these ligands in the in the receptor so for clarity I've just undisplayed the receptor and displayed it again as ribbon and then you can click on and off here to view the the ligand in the pocket. So this is the toggle. You can also s sort by score. So if you right click on the score column and say sort results, you can display hydrogen bonds, make complex structure and import the original database entries. So for example, compound ID numbers from your original database, you can just import them by clicking here.